everybody, Wax and Jackson here with a, another video. Uh, this is going to be my third project video that I've done in a row. Um, yeah, that's right. We are going to be making some nunchucks. That's right, nunchucks. Pew pew. And uh, I actually already have a pair of homemade nunchucks. Um, um, so if I make these and they actually turn out half decent, then I will give them away to, let's say, the most random comment that I get. If Now, you can't use this idea, but if I get a comment saying, orange sharks playing laser tag in the forest under a palm tree, then that's random. Can't use that, but uh, most random comment, I'll give the nunchucks away. First thing that you're gonna want to need is, that you're gonna want to need, I think I've done that already. <laughs> I think I've said that you're gonna want to need uh, in a video. But first thing you're gonna wanna need, you're going to, first thing you're gonna need is a wooden dowel. Um, this one is about a mm, foot and a half long. But um, uh, yeah, it doesn't, you can choose as long as you want the nunchuck, but it should be about the size, one leg should be about, it shouldn't, doesn't have to be exactly, but about the size of your forearm. So see, that's not, that's not quite enough. So I'm just gonna be splitting this in half and it should equal, um, I'm measuring uh, this, and it equals, 16 and a half inches so that'd be 16 uh, math no. uh, 16 and a half that's eight and a quarter yeah eight and a quarter so i'm cutting this mark it at eight and a quarter and cut it right in half um if you're using a wooden dowel you're not going to need any equipment or something. I just have this hacksaw, but um, you could use a, a hacksaw. You can use a um, electric or I guess any power tool that you need, but I just need this hacksaw. It's, I just need to make this little cut. This is the only thing that we're gonna cut in this video. And let's cut it. Never tried this before, but I'm gonna do it. Ready? all together but ready set boom oh okay it didn't work of course okay let's try that again okay 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 so now I got my two even cut pieces both uh, about eight and a half uh, inches eight and a half these are gonna be pretty small, actually. But uh, once we have the detail and get the chain stuff, it's gonna look pretty cool. The next thing that you're gonna need for this project are two hole screws. They look like this. Um, and they, the hole, these are pretty big for the size of this dowel because um, it's not that like they're short, but, um, how thick the dowel is. If this hole is um, bigger than that, then you should probably get smaller ones or get pliers and bend that in. Or if you can find a way to make something, you can use, I don't know, super glue, uh, super glue a, a nut to a screw. I You can do anything you want. You're going to want to screw your hole screws into this, into this, like this. And then you're going to want to make two of those. So use the other dow dowel half and screw this second hole screw into this one. I have two hole screws screwed in. They are a little loose. Um, they are, they do get uh, pretty hard to turn in with your hand. So you can get like a pair of um, pliers and just hold it in place and turn the dowel. That is way easier. And boom, that's it, just like that. Exactly how we want it. You shouldn't be able to see any screw or leftover. 
the how it's in the hook shape the end of the hook where it's not touching should touch or almost touch the dowel see that's i can't even tell if it's not touching but just like that same for this one um remember to comment and you might get these uh they are going to end up looking pretty sick i i go pretty pretty nice with my design not extreme extreme's not the right word but now i like doing that oh i caught both of them now that you have both of your um whole things whole whole dowels, whole screws in the top of your dowels, you're gonna get, you're going to get some chain. Um, it doesn't really matter how much chain, but it should be about the, not, yeah, half or three fourths the length of your dowel. It's totally custom. You can make the, um, the chain length your, any size you want. But you can, um, let, I'll just show you how to get the chain on it. Uh, definitely wasn't me at all. Um, I have this black chain. It's really long. You don't need that. Um, you can get the same pliers and bend it open or needle nose pliers. Probably use needle nose pliers. But just go. Um, you're going to want to hold it. Just, oh my goodness, hold the end of the chain, just pinch it with your thumb on this end, just like that, and then it's totally your, your thing, you, you do you, but I'm going to go to about this length, and the chain that you want to stop at um, is the chain that you're going to end on i guess so you can go one further so that you have the extra chain of length so just just me but uh yeah okay and it'll also cut off because there's um a bit of room from here to here from here to here you know so let's open up the chain and get started All right my chain is opened um i just used two players pairs of pliers and just twisted it and popped it on and you're gonna wanna do this. Here's my custom length. Um, to get a good idea, you can just hold it up. But this is gonna be about the length. And then you're just gonna wanna do the opposite and just twist it back. Or if you need on those pliers, just pinch it and open it. That'd be my recommenda recommendation. Of how to do now it. Now we're talking. We got that nunchuck feel. Um, come to actually think about it. Uh, if you go like this, that is pretty long. And if you do this, it could be. It's pretty loose hanging. Um, it's just that's not how my other pair of nunchucks are. These are pretty good, but we have the bones bones set up i guess you can say we have the bones let's add some skin but we have the dowels and whole screws and chain so let's add some decoration to decorate this you're going to need wait a minute you can do whatever you want honestly you can decorate this however you want i'm going to show you how i'm going to decorate it i'm using electrical tape and thin electrical tape red i'm using black and red um, you're just going to want to open, nails, nails are, nails are, nails are, 50 years, I'm kidding, I'm still wearing the same shirt, and the flags haven't moved, and the garage is still open, and it's open, <laughs> and this is open, um, yes, so, start lining, and then you're going to want to tape, tape the dowel. So I, I actually, fun fact, I play hockey and I tape my hockey stick. So it does not take me the longest amount of time to do tape jobs. So, I mean, I am going for detail on this. So gotta have the sweet detail. Start wrapping it and 
Then we're gonna add the red. And we're gonna add the red uh, electrical tape. First layer done, and got a bear. So uh, I'm just gonna do this one, and then I'll just I'll add the other one. But I'm just gonna show you how I do one because I'm gonna do them both the exact same. So oh, this one's already open. Had a little. So you see the lines that you put overlapping. You don't want to put it exactly on it. But if you have a pattern, because if you put it exactly on it, the lines change because you don't always put it in the same spot. But if you have a pattern, then you can start slowly just turning it, trying to get it about the same length every single time. And then when you get to the bottom, you can just like circle around like that. Just go around a few times. And then um, if you want to, you can actually like go back up, I guess, to make a, a, a cross, cross kind of. I don't know what it'll look like, but here, is the final product. Well, not final, not yet final, but <clears throat> rip it. I can't rip it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna use these metal scissors to rip the tape. That's sad, wow. Um, so if you started on the top and you didn't start with a full circle, it'll look pretty empty right there. So I'm gonna put a circle around like how I did on the bottom with the red. I'm just gonna do that same thing for the top. Let's go round and around and around and around and around and around. I'm annoying. <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can rip it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a man, I think. Alrighty. Here is your first full complete handle. That feels nice. Tape jabs a little bit off, but it'd be pretty nice. If you don't know how to use these, I would look up YouTube videos. There are some pretty cool guys who learn how to use them, but who teach you how to use them. But let's tape up the other hand. And finally, when you're done, these look super cool. I cannot deny that these is this is what you have. It's super cool. Red and black, uh, that probably matches a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, so you can name it those. But it's wood, so it even though it's not like metal nun nunchucks, I'm pretty sure that the ones that can hurt you are the ones that are made out of wood with like metal on the inside or something. So it's the wood that's actually hitting you. I, I don't know. But um, there you can do a lot of cool self-defense tricks with these. Uh, I, I know how to do like, I know how to go like that. Oh, okay. So you just, you just come out. So you start like this, come out like this, and you can go like a double, you can go like, yeah, kind of, okay. You can go like boom, boom, boom. I don't know. And then you can also come back and then grab it. I'm really not good at that, but. If you saw my uh, get to know me video, I think I did tricks in that, but uh, this is it. Thank you guys super much. Thank you guys super much for watching. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoy this and take it and build it. Um, make sure if you do build this, send it to me on my Instagram. That's where you can send me cool projects and you can get a shout out like that. Um, there's, I don't really have a lot of subscribers that'd be important for a shout out, but it'd be cool if you add me and show me what you made. Um, uh, thank you. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoy my 
content, please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the notification bell if you're subscribed or not. I don't know how that works, but I mean, yeah, I should. But <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next project video. Um, I will take comment suggestions on what I build in my videos. Thank you. Good night.